Hey, I just wanted to share with you real quick a, a recipe for fried cabbage. This is probably a little bit different than most of the fried cabbage recipes that you've seen. Um, this is just my, kind of my special way of doing it. Um, take a head of cabbage and peel off the outer leaves if you have any stuff that's brown or wilted or anything. Take it and cut it in half. Sometimes these are kind of tough to cut. Okay, and then you've got two halves here. And you want to take the core out, this part right here. You want to take that out. So we'll just cut it like this. And there, the core is out of it. And we'll just set it off to the side. This is actually pretty good if you kind of peel off the outside stuff. The, the core is actually a pretty good piece to eat. So I usually save that and gnaw on it later. We'll just set this piece off to the side because there's only two of us eating tonight so I don't need the whole entire thing. Then you just want to take this, cut this in half again. So I have two quarters. And basically just, just slice it real thin. So you basically you really actually want pieces about like this. Then maybe you know, an eighth of an inch, something like that. And we'll just cut up the whole the whole half a head that I've got there. Okay, that was a really strange call I just got. My ex-husband's sister-in-law just called and was wanting to a goat cheese recipe and I don't have the book my ex-husband and his new wife have it so it's kind of odd I never even talked to this woman before but anyway back to what I was doing okay I've got the uh, cabbage all shredded up if you get some of these rib pieces that are a little more coarse or a little thicker I'll usually toss those out and eat them but you can see how I've got this all shredded up and be ready to go here in the pan real quick so on to the next step okay now what I'm gonna do here is a big old gulp of butter ain't nothing better than butter y'all have butter I love Paula Dean beautiful beautiful eyes wonderful woman and a hell of a cook so anyway here I've just put a big old gallop of butter in the in the skillet actually it's margarine oh well everything's better with blue bonnet on it and we just want to stir that around and get it to melt and no this here ain't no gourmet cooking this here is I work eight hours a day drive an hour both ways to work and it's gonna be a quick dinner so like I said yeah I'm not gonna have no long drawn-out process I'm gonna show you quick fast food that's good and super simple Okay, I've thrown my cabbage in there, and you just kind of want to stir it around a little bit and try to get it coated with some of the margarine. We're actually going to put a lid on this and, and wilt it down, so just kind of stir it around a little bit. I've got this stove. My stove goes to 10, and I've got it on about 4, so medium, medium low heat. So I'm just going to put the lid on there and let that wilt down. As you can see, this is, this is already wilting down real good. Um, we're going to get it to where it's kind of a tender crisp. Uh, if you know, if you do Chinese cooking at all, you know what tender crisp is. It's like you want it soft, but not so soft that it's soggy. So we'll cook this just a little bit while, a little longer. We'll cover it back up, and then we'll continue with the video. You want to keep stirring this and stuff just to make sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan or, or get brown. So for those really pretty really pretty color and stuff is keeping the green if you can see it or not but so just keep cooking it now about this time what I usually do is I'll give it some a grind of coarse fresh black pepper if you like it real spicy you can put more if you don't you don't have to and sprinkle salt 
Back on with the lid. Shake it up a little. Okay, I think it's just about where we want it to be as far as uh, being wilted. And I'm going to get some milk. Now, this is probably different than any kind of uh, wilted cabbage you've had. And just pour a little bit of milk on there. I usually just pour enough and stuff to kind of coat the bottom of the pan. Because this will cook down. And also, here's the key ingredient besides the cabbage. Sugar. Sprinkle a little sugar over the top of this. And you want to wait until the cabbage is mostly done before you do the sugar because if you put the sugar on too early it's going to stick to the bottom of the pan and kind of caramelize and burn. So you want to wait until towards the end of the cooking on the cabbage. And once again, cover it back up. The nice thing about this is there's really not any attendance to it whatsoever. You just basically kind of cook it and then just ignore it. But it's really super simple and it is really, really, really good. Okay. After we've wilted it down pretty good and then we've put the milk on it and put the lid back on it and then let it wilt some more, um, I'm going to take the lid off of it. And actually this milk here will kind of evaporate and thicken up with this. So we'll continue cooking. And here's our cooked cabbage when it's all done. Um, you might notice whenever you cook this that it almost looks like the milk kind of separates. Let's see if I can zoom in a little closer. Maybe I think the battery on my camera is about dead. But that's perfectly normal. That does happen. So don't, don't worry about it. It tastes good regardless of how it may look. And here's our completed dinner. Right here we have butterfly pork chops that I put meat tenderizer on, uh, pepper, I just browned them real quick on both sides and then put them in a 9 by 13 pan with a can of golden mushroom soup and yeah those are instant mashed potatoes, that's, that's alright. We're in a hurry tonight so I'd normally make potatoes from scratch but I just don't have the time tonight. And besides that they're made from real potatoes so what the heck. And this is our cooked cabbage. So there you have it. That's our meal for the evening. Uh, a lot of friends and I uh, will get on Facebook and we'll actually take pictures of our meals and, and put it on Facebook just to have fun. So, you all have a good evening. I'm going to sit down and eat because I am starved. Talk to you later. Bye.